Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan is a different season. Feelings in Ramadan, emotions in Ramadan are uh, totally different than any other month of the year. And uh, during the last 10 nights, uh, feelings become even more, sp more special and uh, one feels the difference between these last 10 nights and the nights prior to that. And if we felt saddened and grieved to the fact that we could not pray the five daily prayers uh, in the masjid because the, the mosques were closed as precautionary measures, uh, in Ramadan it's more difficult more painful and during the last 10 nights of Ramadan undescribable so what should we do how should we receive these 10 nights in light of this we have to psychologically prepare ourselves that because of corona and because of these preventive measures things might continue and the likelihood of it continuing the same way is very high uh, though some people try to be artificially optimistic and say oh no inshallah things are uh, coming to an end soon and we will come to ramadan ramadan is around the corner the 10 nights are around the corner eid is around the corner uh, so we should be prepared. We should mentally, psychologically be prepared that things are going to continue. So we need to prepare ourselves to utilize this month, particularly these last 10 nights, in the best way we can. And uh, perhaps being forced to stay at home uh, is an opportunity that can help you in a better way to achieve what you want to achieve, to take advantage of these last 10 nights. Because you don't have to go anywhere day or night. Now, things continuing to be the same way might be better for us because Allah only decrees what's good. Uh, because staying at home might be a means of you utilizing these last 10 nights better than if there is no such preventive measures. Number one, because these 10 nights need extra effort. And since one is not going to be obliged to go in and out, drive to work and come back, working from home or what have you, uh, so you'll have more time for yourself. Number two, uh, being at home, and this is very important, being at home does not mean I cannot do what I would have done if there was no such thing, no corona. You can do i'tikaf, the definition of i'tikaf, not the actual i'tikaf, because i'tikaf is only done in the masjid. You can do i'tikaf actions, if you may, whilst at home. And you might be better off than doing it in the masjid, because in the masjid you might have people who might disturb you, who might interrupt your seclusion, come and talk to you, come and ask you questions, ask you a favor, whatever. Uh, but at home, you're alone, you and your family. And that's, that's much more manageable than being in the masjid. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ would exert exceptional, unique efforts during the last nights uh, of Ramadan, the last 10 nights. Uh, in the book of Bukhari, Aisha tells us that the Prophet ﷺ, whenever these last 10 nights started, he would become, he would exert extra effort, he would not sleep at night, and he would wake his 
family up to pray and, and worship Allah Azza wa Ibn Hajar rahmatullah alayhi said that this hadith of Aisha uh, encourages people to work hard to beautify the end, the conclusion of their actions. Just like the Prophet ﷺ strove hard to beautify the last ten nights, which are the last nights of his action of Qiyam and Siyam of Ramadan, we are encouraged to do that and apply that to all acts of worship. We do. Uh, and the concept of working hard to the last minute is derived from uh, this narration of Aisha radiallahu anha. Again, we're going to be deprived from the masjid, from i'tikaf, from qiyam in in the masjid behind the imam well the acts of worship are not connected to the masjid you can still recite quran at the house you can still pray qiyam you can still supplicate allah you can still still recite dhikr uh, you can still read books all of that is doable in the in the masjid as well as it is in the house utilizing these last 10 nights must be based on the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so what was his sunnah during these last 10 nights? And I'm going to uh, cite a, a narration that's usually addressed from a certain angle, but I'm going to highlight something different uh, in it. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, and this is reported by Al-Bukhari, said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was the most generous of all people. He was the most generous of all people. And he used to be more generous during Ramadan, when he met Jibreel, and Jibreel used to meet him every night during Ramadan to review the Quran with him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, would be more generous than a blowing, fast blowing wind. People usually address the issue of generosity and charity and spending and sadaqah from this hadith in particular, which is one aspect, undoubtedly. However, there is something that I would like to highlight. Is that the, the narration says that the Prophet ﷺ would sit and study, review, learn with Jibreel the Qur'an every night. So it's an opportunity because of the situation of Corona and that we're forced to stay home. It's an opportunity to learn, read the meaning of the uh, interpretation of the Quran, try to memorize parts of the Quran, and more importantly, try to gather your family around you and uh, teach them, study with them. Make a study circle, even if it's a 10, 15, 20 minute uh, circle just to read together, try to understand the meaning of the words so that when you recite the Quran, especially the part, the last part, the, the short surahs were, which most people memorize, you would be understanding what you're saying. You can live the spirit of the verses and not just simply just repeating something that's in instilled in your mind or memorized in your heart uh, without having any interaction with the words. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us to uh, take advantage of these last 10 nights in the best manner. Allahumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum.